Jackson Radio Show. Watch the news. Uh, as you know, we had the largest tax cuts in our history just approved. And I was going to wait for a formal signing sometime in early January. But then I watched the news this morning and they were all saying, will he keep his promise? Will he sign it by Christmas? You will one. But will he sign it by Christmas? And I called downstairs. I said, get it ready. We have to sign it now. We we're going to wait till January 7th or 8th and do a big formal ceremony. But Every one of the networks was saying, will he keep his promise? Will he sign it for Christmas, before Christmas? And so I immediately called. I said, let's get it ready. Uh, as you know, $3.2 trillion in tax cuts for American families, including the doubling of the standard deduction and the doubling of the child tax credit. The typical family of four earning $75,000, we see an income tax cut of more than $2,000. Many much higher than that, slashing their tax bill in half. And they're going to start to see that because we're signing today. They're going to start to see that in February. Welcome back, everybody. Donald Trump is confident about what this tax plan is going to do for the economy and for people who are looking for this relief. I want you to think about somebody who's a hundred dollars, you know, getting a hundred dollars behind every month. And it's just been ganging up and they're trying to cut and they're, they've been doing what they can. But Obama's economy just has them hamstrung. They can't find jobs, a part time job or whatever. They're just struggling. And suddenly they got two hundred more dollars a month in their pockets. The next check they get is going to be enough to cover all the bills and they're going to have a little bit of wiggle room. And I want you to think about that voter in 2018. Now. Here's what I want you to also think about, because they did a I was I was actually very surprised by this. This is a CBS uh, that did this. They took people's taxes in three different areas, California, North Carolina, somewhere else. And they took them to an accountant in D.C. And they said, based on the Trump tax plan, do these people's accounting for them. And they started doing their accounting and we got the clip. It's a little long, but I promise you it's worth it. And I want you to think about this as people start assimilating. Keep in mind, this wasn't a Fox News, you know, let's go out and find people to do it. They, they picked three random folks. CBS did it, gave the taxes to an accountant, and the results went over CBS. This is not a Fox audience. This isn't a strongly conservative audience. But this is what this audience got to see. Now, you're only going to get to hear the audio, but you'll get what I'm talking about. Most get a tax cut next year under the plan Congress passed this week. But figuring out exactly how much your family will save is tricky. Republicans say a typical family of four earning $73,000 a year will see taxes drop by more than $2,000. We wanted to see how folks will actually fare. So we asked households from three different parts of the country to send us their tax returns. And then we had an accountant calculate how things will change for each of them. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. As Republicans sent the tax bill to the White House, Marcy George wondered if it would make a difference in her house. It didn't seem as they were going along that it would really affect someone like me. A single mother who rents a home in Cary, North Carolina, her income last year as an administrative assistant was a little under $40,000. Financially, I struggle. I live paycheck to paycheck. I make things work. I readjust and rearrange, but I, um, we do get by. So will getting by get any easier? We brought her 2016 tax return to Jeffrey Levine, a certified public accountant at Blueprint Wealth Alliance on New York's Long Island. If she were your client, what would you tell her? I got good news for you, Marcy. You're getting more money back next year. He says she'll benefit from a doubling of the child tax credit. And based on her returns last year, he estimates a savings of about $1,300 in taxes. That would be more that I would be seeing um, in each paycheck. So that would be a good thing. Amber and Jason Edwards were also hoping for some good news. You know, I hope it alleviates, you know, pressure on the middle class. Whether it does or not, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. They're married homeowners with no kids in Providence, Rhode Island. As college educators, they took in more than $150,000 last year 
as they work to pay down their student loans. Financially, we're, you know, we're, we're doing OK. We're certainly, you know, uh, not at the poverty level or anything of that nature. Jason, who blogs about their finances, wanted to know how things would change. I actually think they would pay tax on about $12,000 more of income, but because of the lower rates, they actually end up saving a little bit of money. The Vine says the couple will switch to the newly increased standard deduction, which means a simpler return with no itemized deductions. He thinks they'd owe about $650 less than before. Honestly, I'm a little surprised because, well, what you had said... Initially, you thought we were going to have a higher tax bill. Right. They're not the only ones. Melissa and Lane Lev also express concern about next year's taxes. I'm thinking they're going to be higher. Um, and by how much, I don't know if I could answer that. I'm just thinking they're going to be higher. Married with three children, they own a home in Fresno, California. They opened a cycle studio last year, and Melissa is a pharmaceutical sales rep. Their combined income in 2016 was around $300,000. We were doing well enough to take a risk and open up a small business in our town. It's definitely hard work and uh, definitely a lot of stress when, when we have uh, you know, so much of our worth on the line, so to speak. Lane and Melissa are from California, very high income tax state. So there are a lot of people worried oh my goodness, this is, this is really going to hurt me. They thought it was going to be a big bill. I'm not surprised. It actually is really going to help them, though. Levine says their itemized deductions, including breaks for state and local taxes, will be much lower. But they'll no longer be hit with the alternative minimum tax and will now qualify for child tax credits when they didn't before. Overall, he estimates they'll be responsible for nearly $13,000 less in taxes. Well, that's good. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Can I get the accountant's number after this? <laughs> so wait a minute. So all three families that we brought to you, they're all going to see a decrease in their taxes. Every single one of those families will have more money in their pocket next year. Uh-oh. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. It's the Kevin Jackson Show. 844-551-8255. CBS. Telling people. Telling the rest of the world. The leftists. You know what? The sky is not falling. This Trump tax cut is going to help you. Now, I don't know how many people are going to compare one versus the other, but people are used. They know what they normally get back. Most of Americans are like, "Ooh, waiting on that tax check. Boy, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. And let me tell you, the way they did it, doubling the standard deduction, all those other things. Those are the ways that impact the average American the most. You watch what happens. You're going to see. Whoo. You're going to see people going. This is good. <laughs> That's all I got to tell you. So the cat's being let out of the bag here. And it isn't Fox News. It's it's Trump being validated yet again. And when you heard him in that clip when he said, look, I could have let this go to January, but I wasn't going to let people down. I told them I was going to get this done before Christmas and bada bing, bada boom, we got it done before Christmas. That's a big deal. Here's what Gorka had to say about 2018. Sebastian Gorka, Dr. Sebastian Gorka, relevant clip, trust me. What are the Democrats going to run on? We have three and a three percent GDP growth rates already, a million and a half jobs created, the lowest unemployment in 17 years. Everybody who pays taxes is going to get a tax cut. What are they going to run on? I just don't see the message. Let's remind ourselves, Jesse, President Obama was the only president since the Depression who never reached 3% GDP growth rate for one year for his whole eight years in office. The, the 2018 is going to be incredible for the president. It's going to be incredible for all Americans. Whether you voted for him or not, you will have an incredible 2018. Welcome back, everybody. Now, look, Kevin Jackson, I can talk about the exuberance of Donald Trump. Gorka can talk about the exuberance of Donald Trump. We can talk about this all we want, but I've done a show where I said, you know, there's talk and there's action. And I'm going to tell you, to a person, go out and ask the average individual, do you prefer talk or do you prefer action? And it doesn't matter 
where you go up the food chain, people say, I prefer action. Actions speak. That's right. Louder than words. I didn't have to finish it for you. You knew where to go. Whether you like Trump or you don't, action speaks to you. You're mad at your people. You're going, where's your action been? Let me ask you this. Have you been mad at the Republicans for for their lack of action over the past couple decades, three decades? I have. What do you think I gravitate you to Donald Trump? The fact that he says, here's what I'm going to do. I don't care if you don't think it's popular. And be aware of the guy who doesn't care about your polls. Ask yourself, but Trump's tied to the polls. He hates the polls. When has Donald Trump brought up a poll? He just does it. Action. Kevin Jackson on the Black Sphere Radio Network. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177 or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com.